Let's try unequipping the health thing and see how much more shards I get without that there. Curious about that. I'm getting a little hardier as time goes on and frankly I could use more health, I think. Regions can be accessed independently of which bosses you defeated. Not really sure what the implication of that statement is, to be honest. So I guess maybe part of the reason why the loading times are kind of long is probably because it's trying to, in addition to loading all the assets and 2D graphics and all the different animations and stuff, it's probably simultaneously trying to generate the world or something. Definitely get a vague sense that maybe a patch could update it a bit, because... I don't know, something about 2D side-scrollers having, like, this long of a loading screen is, like, slightly beyond what I'd expect. Or maybe I've got no idea what I'm talking about, which is usually the case. I'll just say that much. Let's, should, we go, should I go battery hunting again? Having the world reshuffle makes it interesting trying to keep track of which places I've been to and stuff like that. I'm trying to keep track of all these places and which ones I know and so on, but... Of course, the place is reshuffling. You don't exactly go along the same path as before. Oopsie. You just jump over and that's it, right? Yeah. Just a moment of panic when I'm looking at it for a moment. Thank you. Mind me, I just want all of your souls? Does anything have a soul? They're all like mechanical things, mostly. Actually, I don't know what to call a lot of these things. Right. I have to worry about the fact that this is kind of like a higher zone. It may be more dangerous for a number of reasons. I think I need to be careful about sharing space with some of these guys. Like, they might be more dangerous while I'm inside. Oh. Lost track of them a little bit. Here they come. Come on, start swing. Yep. Just waiting for you to start doing that. And then I'm showered with resources. Now this is the place I want to see myself be, because these guys are clearly going to be worth some amount of resources. And this is the place to go if I want to get some proper upgrades. Because we're clearly getting diminishing returns really quickly from the original zone. I quickly was getting to a point where like, I'd have to kill tons of them to get real progress. There you go. Now. Oh, crap. Wow. Can you tell this is the beginning of a new session? I failed to recognize the freaking slam territory, even though there's a freaking constant siren. I'm like, yeah, I, I didn't question it. It's, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Oh my god, it's a giant ceiling coming down to murder me. It's almost as if I've seen that several times before. Embarrassing. Let's not make that mistake again. Oh. I think I'm gonna have to wait for... Uh, okay, I guess we're fighting now. Please die, Mr. Worm. There we go. Already at 300 plus. Nice. Come here. Oh, you're going over there. Well, crap. I don't want to go into this thing again, so... There we go. Oh, really that close? Ow. Got it? Yes? Oh. And then you don't even drop me anything. I see how it is. Fine. Not even the random boxes are consistent. Nothing's really actually consistent. Everything just drops whenever it wants to, whenever it feels like it, except for when it doesn't. On Tuesdays and so on. I just launched them into the air, that was great. Okay, a little bit of- okay, a little danger. Little danger. Wow, okay. 
You need to calm down, world. Okay. Danger, danger. Damn. Ugh. Is this one of those games I need to play every single day? It might be one of those games I have to play every single day, because holy shit. I played everything up until now in a single session, and there was like a ramping up, but now that I, I, I'm back after a few days of like, okay, time to make more episodes, I'm like, ah, oh, what, the, ah, this game, calm down game. It's, uh, very active and full of things. Still, I can afford a number of upgrades already. That doesn't hurt. Definitely help me out here. Let's go up towards here, go to the critical hits and stuff. There's a bit of melee damage. My first melee damage upgrade, which is kind of crucial. There we go there. And a quick reminder. Okay, there we go. It was really dumb, but uh, in the middle of the fight, I had a really dumb moment where I just, like, what is the heal button? <laughs> I started just testing every- like, even the- like, somehow, even though I did the heal uh, earlier in the fight, I just started pressing every button, like, ah, which one is the heal button? Because it slipped my mind. That's what I get for not reviewing the controls. That's fine, we just have a really bad start for this episode, and I'm going to now make up for that, hopefully. <laughs> With, like, progress or something. Nope, that wasn't- oh, right, I forgot. There's that thing where you can't double jump until you land on your feet again. Like, you can jump back and forth off walls over and over again, but you can only double jump if you hit the ground again. It's, it's weird? Can't really think of other games where that worked that way, to be honest. Thankfully, this zone is going to be helping out with my experience for a bit. They're definitely already pouring it on, compared to the previous zones. How'd that get down here? Through the floor? Curious. Surprisingly, when you attack, when you do that in midair, you actually continue sliding for a bit. I find in these situations it's often because my priority is just to deal with the meteoroids. So I keep hitting them, they'll keep stalling. Unless the changes over time. Which means that they'll be less of a threat. I keep thinking I can go inside these because there's clearly a hole. I'm, I'm just expecting secrets and whatnot. Oh, come on. It admittedly feels strange that you can keep scrolling left and right while you're doing the while you're in the process of doing a down attack. We need to find our way behind that. Oh, this is a total dead end. Alright. Head back then. Oh, hello, surprise enemies. They really do just spawn whenever they feel like. How does that guy get over here, by the way? We changed floors. Some interesting tunneling there that's like trans-dimensional tunneling. Alright, well, so far, whenever I kill two of those guys, the second one, if the first one drops something, the, ne the second one never seems to. So I'm just gonna skip the RNG and just leave that guy to his own devices for now. Definitely happy those things are everywhere. Those will give me resources, even when the monsters won't. Ah. He's persistent. Oh. Is that a bad news siren? Am I under attack? Like, heavy attack? Is it just the one? Yeah, I was gonna say, the sound. that sound means like heavy attack is coming my way, right? Well, I can't chase you when you go inside the wall like that, admittedly. You're on your own at that point. Okay, under heavy attack now. Okay, calm down. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Let's win this fight. I need experience. Ah, dang it. I'm trying to catch them in midair so I can start stunlocking the meteoroids, but it's not going over well. There we go. This might work in my favor for a bit. Ow. They are all over the place. One more down. Okay, now it's significantly cut down, but I took a heavy toll on the healing. Come on. Oh, yep, that's both down. There we go. Fight cleaned out, and I got 263. Not as much as I would like. I think really this it seems like the smaller skirmishes are more worth it. You make a little bit less experience, but you don't really take any damage when it's smaller because they're just so much more controllable. Whereas the larger fights are chaotic nightmares that are significantly harder to control. I don't think I can go past that. There must, I wonder if there's going to be an ability that lets you destroy these uh, shards or these thorns and stuff. There must be like a briar destroying power at some point. Because it's just everywhere. And in some cases, it seems to even like genuinely block your path. Ah, crap. Can I do better on this side? Oh yeah, there's something up there. Gimme gimme! Ow. There's the last piece. Ow, ow. Get that shield back up, please. Before I get swarmed here. And getting attacked here would be bad news. Tell me there's something up here. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Nope, I had already double jumped. Whoops. There we go. That's how we clear that gap. Uh oh. Ugh, no. No. Okay. I have to step it up with the platforming here. So that gets me that far. Are you solid or not? You are solid. Okay. Wasn't entirely sure at first. It has that like, desaturation to it almost that makes it look like it's a background element. Not getting attacked at all. Interesting. Is this like a designated platforming section? Now we're doing well. Oh, and now we're under attack. Calm down, meteoroids. Come here. Ah, oh, I missed him. There we go. Collision in midair. Works for me. I'm just trying to camp this ledge as they come up here. There we go. Cleaned up. The game gets very quiet when you take them all out. It makes it really clear when you take when you wipe them all out the entire like wave that's coming your way. I'm definitely missing some of those health drops though. You're down. Oh. Meteor Y. Okay, danger. Danger time. Okay. Is that a higher level diver thing? It is. Yeah, it is. Okay. We calm down, world. Okay. A little... My shield's back up, at least. That's good. I sort of avoided long enough. 
at some point it doesn't hurt just to try to take out all the ground troops for a bit. So I can just focus on the projectile guys. Okay, no, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Okay. No, thank you. <laughs> that's a lot of divers. Okay. Okay, calm down. <laughs> oh, shit. Got hit a lot there. Just shield damage for now, but oh my god, it got so much worse. What the hell? How'd they even know I was over there? How'd they know to come out of the ground over there? Isn't the ground, like, really far below them at that point? Screw it. Take the treasure with me. At least I can take that with me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> More or less got my wish of at least taking out the, uh, treasure cache. Holy crap, the damage that just comes at you from every direction is a lot. You've either got to be really, really, really good at uh, some crowd management in this game, or you've got to be really, really uh, up for the idea of uh, just statsing through it, I suppose. Because these they're just mobs. I think I need to just run away more in those situations. Got bonus damage, bonus shields. There we go. It'll go hit chance will be coming soon, but not quite. We're working towards it. Definitely want to get some crit in there. That's a decent percentage, eight percent for your first upgrade. By most game standards, that's, by most game standards, I think that's a lot of crit to get all at once. And we don't really know what it means, but I, it's, you can often assume that that eight percent crit means eight percent chance of uh, double damage. I fall, I fell too far. Ow. <laughs> General bad call. Get out of here with your low level crap. You know who I am? I'm the man with the lemons. Actually, I'm a woman that has a ghost sword? The trapezohedron? <laughs> hey, get out of here. Father low level. Does help recontextualize just how much tougher everything got all of a sudden when you start hitting these low-level characters and they're just like dying on the spot practically. Clear. And thankfully everything kind of has a leashing range where if you run far enough away they stop chasing you. That's the thing to do. Ow. Ow, ow. Ow. <laughs> I made the mistake of thinking that I got to roll in midair and I could not. Ow. I really... If only you could double jump a few more times. Okay, so the ball's there. I guess you just keep respawning. At least if this room is the same in the future. Might not always be. Ow. Just doing some good old-fashioned waiting here and there. It seems to be like a... Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. I think it's like a set in stone platforming section. Like, it seems like you can just get away with, like, learning it. Ah, crap. I already used my double jump. Oh, hey. Ah, uh, come on. Just go higher. Ah. Uh. There we go, that's what I need to do before. But hey, my mistake rewarded me, so there's that. Hey, you guys are everywhere. Not complaining at all, but dang. Continually surprised by how much I'm finding those now. Does the game take pity on me, or what? 
Oh, that's an attack. That's not great news. Nope. <laughs> bye bye. There we go. On their own, they're pretty easy to clear out because they just swoop at you from one side. All the additional guys flying through the room and causing crazy danger zones that are hard to track. Haven't been seeing the turret guys lately, have we? No off-screen lasers causing me mayhem. You're not dead yet. Whoops. There we go. Pop goes the D-worm. That sounds like I'm referring to something completely different. <laughs> the D-worm. Oh, dang it. Keep misjudging whether I'm clearing a ledge or not. Could keep going, but that leads to a new zone, so let's prioritize that over all else. More crystals. Oh, lore time. When swarms of foolish men arrived. Calling themselves Valkyries. The Valkyrie men. Eyes full of greed. Hearts empty of belief. Asking us to give them everything. Kural Milar. Restrain them. I think that probably goes in the territory of the, uh, those unpronounceable Lovecraftian names and stuff. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What did that do? <laughs> I don't know what that did. Which is a concern. Oh, I probably just opened that shortcut. Oh, I probably just opened that door so I don't have to, you don't have to go the long way through the lower room again. Because it's just a lower room where nothing happens besides lore. Zoom. Oh my god. That went further down than I thought it would. <laughs> Weirdly satisfying to just go shooting down the uh, chute like that. Or shooting, as you might call it. <laughs> I like spelled with a CHU, because the. Whatever. <laughs> Some of you got it a little bit, but it was stupid, so let's not explain it more. Okay, here comes way too many enemies again, probably. The dance of their people. I'm just swing, just swinging, just swinging. Ow. Okay, you can calm down now. Jump. Okay, I'm going now. Bye bye. Oh, jeez. No. <laughs> Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, these guys need to chill. These meteoroids that caused me all the trouble here. You can do a surprising amount of like floating after enemies in midair if you're comboing right. I don't have the feel for it though. Not quite. But I can definitely tell that it kind of works. There goes my heels. Well, hopefully I can open that shortcut that's on the map. Which would then completely validates any loss I have. There we go. Now we have a shortcut open. So I'm making progress. Oh, but I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna turn the power on and that's gonna make the turrets show up, huh? Time for things to get harder. Oh, 
By the way, I've seen some screenshots of people playing this game later in the game, and holy crap. You have a very long health bar eventually. That, those, I guess those 30% bonuses really add up when you get them. I need to work my way towards one of those. This is it, everything should work now. Oh, there's a boss fight back there, apparently. Is that a proper boss fight or a mid-boss again? Valkyrie base. Okay. What kind of bad news is waiting for me in here? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, there they are. Hello, good friends. Ow. How did you make the floor full of danger? That's interesting. Hi, right, bye. Whoa. Look at that. Is that the boss fight? Ow. Holy crap. Invisible. Ow. I'm going to die now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, there's a new fight. Was it Arlie Violin? So there's an invisible dude. He's like a hunter. He comes swooping out of the, uh, in well, his invisibility. And slices you with the wrist blades. And I was not as focused on fighting him as I should have been because I was trying to deal with the fact that there was two turrets constantly shooting at me that were themselves positioned awkwardly on top of those damn, uh... They're positioned on top of that damn invisibility spot. I mean, invincibility spot where the mines... I get blown up if I stood by the floor there. I don't entirely know what shield flasks are, but they just feel like a bad idea. Can I afford you? Critical hit chance 600? Yeah, okay. There we go. I want to continue down here, or towards one of these guys. 30% shield's got to be pretty good. Yeah. It'd be like a plus 30. But it would, uh, of course, be scaling up forever. Which is also pretty good. And there's this guy. Max energy. Tempting. I guess I'll get started at going over there. We did pick up the other ability that gives me some access to stuff down here. This bonus armor. Additional perk. Healing proficiency. That's 30% health, yeah. Good regenerate. Everything's good. Everything is good. Really just leveling up and putting points into stuff is like universally a good thing for you, basically. It's really hard to get around that fact. Alright, so we got 15 more health. Meter's getting a little longer now. And now I have a crit chance of 8%, which I hope- hopefully will be good. Looks like critical hit damage is 150%, so it's not gargantuan, but still like... 8% chance of doing 150% damage, that's the equivalent of a 4% DPS increase by my old World of Warcraft math at the very least. Whereas otherwise we do a melee damage of what? Was- would these go up by 3? This normally goes up by 3 damage. My attack is- where is it? Armor, health, shield, luck, damage, 39. So plus 3 is... Okay, so at the moment, actually, getting bonus uh, damage is probably a bigger DPS increase than getting the bonus crit. It's fine. In the long run, it'll be a percentage that makes a big deal. And I'll just have to get some more melee damage upgrades as we go to make up for it. And those melee damage upgrades will in turn increase the effectiveness of the critting and so on. This is one of those weird... This one, this, it, it's almost weird to call it weird, but this is one of those, uh... One of those games that has a level up tree where, like, what the heck? Oh, I'm on the, I have to go further down, whoops. It's one of those games where the level up tree is so consistently good across the board that it's actually, like, universally good. And there's basically... As far as I can tell, there's basically nothing in the level up tree that's actually bad for you, or, like, a, a waste of points. Because they all either give you massive increases, uh, very straightforward increases to all of your very important stats, or they uh, help you get increases to your stats faster. Or they just add, and oftentimes the distinction is, do you want to add direct bonuses to your stats, or do you want to add percentage-based, like, multiplicative changes to your stats? Which is not a gargantuan distinction. Not see that guy. That's uh, because they're they're alternating is what they're doing. But I got my damage in. All right, only fifty three. All right. 
bet the boss is worth a lot though, and I opened the shortcut to him. Be right down here. On one hand, I'm like, I don't want to. There we go. On one hand, I'm uh, afraid of fighting everyone because I figure it'll kill my health pool a little bit when I'm trying to get use that for the boss. On the other hand, I don't want them to chase me to the boss chamber because I don't really don't know if they can. The one armory. All right, let's be afraid of the giant invisible du douchebag dude that's going to be causing me problems. Well, the mines are gone from last time. That's a good start. Ow. There he is. Oh, so the enemies just come by. What? Oh, jeez. So it's called a panzer, apparently. So the new boss I'm fighting is another mid-boss, apparently, because he's a... Yeah, I thought he was a real boss, because I'd never seen him before, but he's apparently just a variation of this dude that just showed up. So, I'm encountering the mid-boss version of this boss at the same time as fighting the uh, normal version of them for the first time. Go figure. Where are you? Now? So I can kind of- I can kind of dodge their melee sw the melee strike in real time with the roll if I'm careful. Ow. Sometimes. Not always con- Ow! He chases you a lot! Ah, oh, crap. Damn it. Okay. A lot of, uh, fighting for control during that fight. These loading times are gonna wear on me a little bit with how, uh... Like, I'm already, like, primed. Just like, oh, let's get right back in there and do it again. And I'm like, why is it taking this long to load? 